All right, so we took a look at the boy Magna, and honestly, he is insane. He is honestly a very, very, very good unit. And so, yeah, if y'all want to check out the Magna Showcase, it is on the channel already. But today, we are taking a look at baby girl Charlotte. This unit is just dumb, okay? Like, I, they love making Noelle's. They love making Charlotte. It's just broken. And I understand, dude. It's the waifu. They got to do their priorities, which I am not complaining at all. But, um... Yeah, I after using Charlotte for a very decent amount so far, I feel comfortable saying that she's probably top 5, okay? She's probably top 5 units in the game, and it's crazy that every single brand new seasonal that we get, they're just making them like better and better and better and better and better, and I just cannot imagine what the half year anniversary seasonals are going to look like, season 7. Um, so yeah, we're going to go in, let's do our PvE showcase, and then we're going to hop into a PvP match at the end, but... Like I said, dude, if you have Charlotte, if you have Magna, let me know which one do you prefer out of the two. I think, personally, I prefer Charlotte over Magna just because Charlotte's going to have a much better usage over Magna. Because Magna is, like, you know, more specific. It has a burn team and everything like that. While Charlotte is just universal, right? You can bring this unit onto pretty much any team, and she's going to cook. Absolutely. And plus, do keep in mind, if you are someone who likes to run Mono Green then that unit is going to absolutely fit in perfectly. So her, dude, honestly, Mono Green is going to be quite, quite dumb in the upcoming weeks because we are getting Fauna, we are getting Witch Queen. I think Witch Queen, I'm not sure if she is green typing or not, but I know Fauna is. So that's just going to be crazy as if by itself. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead. So let me change out the gear and stuff like that. Overall, like I said, this unit, she offers everything that I wanted to and more. Like... She plays the support role perfectly, she's increasing special points, she's increasing barrier, she's doing barrier duration extensions, she's offering attack support as well, so like, she does everything that I need a support unit to do, and she just does it perfectly, right? She just no and or buts about it, she plays that role perfectly, but um, yeah, so let's see what we can cook up here. Now obviously, if you are looking for like some crazy, crazy damage, well, I'm sorry, you're not gonna get it, but... As you can see, right off the bat, we are running mono green, so we automatically get a barrier percentage based on our... I want to say, like, her max HP or something like that, but, yeah, it's crazy. So, um, just that alone just makes her worth it, okay? And keep in mind, I think mono green is going to be very, very viable in PvP in the upcoming weeks because of Fauna. And then, if you do have a unit such as, like, Long Grace, I don't know if you're going to take him with this team, but, um, that unit is also a unit that has, like, crazy, 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 um, just... Like constant ulting just of how he works um all right let's see what do we want to do here um i think we're gonna go ahead and just buff up blake's here and then we're gonna go for the partner combo skill for him and raya uh let's go ahead and do another barrier because why not which is quite dumb 80k now the only thing right the only thing that is bad about having um oh actually you know what i actually messed up i actually messed up because we could have had the barrier procced off turn one like not even turn one like right when the battle starts, and then I could have used her ultimate to do a barrier extension, but it's fine though, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Damage wise, what are we looking at from Lake tier? Uh, we are getting a defense penetration increase. I mean, yeah, it's not the craziest bit, but it still offers that attack roll there. Let's see, 110, I'll take it. And then now we'll come in with the combo skills of Raya. We do get the copy over buff. Now let's see what the boys can cook up here. Um, I am expecting a decent amount of damage. I mean, I'm not looking for like half a million here, but... Um, okay, 150. You know, it's not too bad. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. And now, when Charlotte comes back around, we do get to extend our buff... Or not, not our buffs, but our barrier by a whole extra turn. So if I go ahead and do this, right? Uh, so Aerosol Flaked, Raya, and Rodis are both at one counter for a barrier. I believe this does go ahead and extend it. Let me see. Yep, it does. So, just that alone, I feel like is crazy because y'all already know how broken barrier units are. It's just like, if you have a barrier unit, it's very annoying to work against in PvP. Um, I'm probably gonna end up taking this team in PvP, if I'm being honest with you. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next wave, and that's how we are gonna hop into PvP to see how crazy Mono Green is. Um, okay, so let's what i want to do here um okay so it's defense penetration so let's go and do that with licked and then we will go ahead and taunt you if we can our poison damage i'm sorry okay late let's do oh it's going out for five turns um let's just do it damage wise what are we looking at 62k i'll take it as absolutely not too bad at all 
Um, and then 42k from a boy Raya. Okay, so next turn we do get to go ahead and do some crazy damage once again. The only thing, and I and I hate this, right? I hate this because they absolutely know what they're doing. The bad thing about having your support type units go first <laughs> is that like when they go first, the buffs don't last as long. Like typically you want a support unit to go last. So that way they get the full benefits of the full like two turns if that makes sense but because of the way charlotte is built and her speed and everything like that she goes first so when she procs off her you know buffs supports all that stuff it kind of doesn't last the whole full two turns if that makes sense hopefully y'all understand what i'm saying it's because her speed is at 124 or if you do decide to max out it's gonna be 124 but she is a very very fast unit which is very unfortunate um I feel like if she was just a little bit slower, it's funny how I'm like I'm wanting a unit to be slow, but if she was a little bit slower, then I feel like she would have been even better. But um, it is what it is. Okay, let's do this, and then we are still getting the benefits from uh, Charlotte, which is great. And then do that good damage there. Okay, um, pretty much. I mean, there's really nothing else I can do here if I'm being honest with you. Let's go into PvP to see if a full mono team or mono green team can cook, which I actually think they can. I actually absolutely do think they can. Um, and the cool thing is that with this unit, you don't really need to take Rodis, if that makes sense. Um, so the team I'm actually going to go ahead and do here is... Let's go ahead and do... Okay, I already have Charlotte there, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and put in the green boys, because why not? And then... For the last unit, I think I'm going to go ahead and put... I'm not going to put Rodis in here, actually. I'm going to go ahead and put in Valtos, if that makes sense. So Valtos, where where are you? Uh, what is your CC at 31k? Okay, let me check out the gear real quick, and then we can kind of get an idea, because the thing is that with Charlotte, essentially she is a free barrier unit that you don't need to take Rod, if that, if that makes sense. And she still fits the role of like Mono Green and everything. Which is fantastic, right? So I think this is gonna work out quite well. We have pretty like quote unquote speed and attack support, and then these guys are gonna be doing damage, which I like. So 198, that's not too bad. Um Ooh. Ooh. I think we actually cook here. I think we actually like KO here. Uh full mono green, so we are automatically getting the barrier. We should wait, 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 wait. Um, I think their Charlotte is going to outspeed mine, but it's not going to affect me in any way. So that's going to be fine. Um, oh, wait, this is this team is kind of dangerous. It's kind of dangerous. Now, obviously, Link and Raya aren't like the quote-unquote best anymore. Um, yeah, we're getting a 56k barrier, which is insane. Oh, we do get to go first, actually. I forgot. I do have Valtos. Um, okay, so obviously, we do want to go ahead and go first here to knock out whatever units we can. Uh, barrier, that's fine. And then we go ahead and proc off a barrier here, right? And then if I apply it towards Charlie, we are getting a additional... Um... Oh, there's no special point in Chris, I forgot. Okay, so let me... Uh, okay, what do I, what do I want to do here? Let's... Let's go ahead and put it on Litz. I don't, I don't even think it matters here. And can I say the ultimates actually look clean? Like, they actually very, very cooked here. I like it a lot. Um, barrier extension for two more turns, which is great. That's fantastic. They have the counterattack, so now, now the only this is bad actually because we are going to get counterattack pretty badly. I just need the link to survive. He does have immortality, which is fine, but um, okay, damage wise, what are we looking like? What are we looking like? Show me, show me what's up. Show me what's up. Uh, we do have a barrier for about like a turn and a half left, which is not too bad. Uh, ninety nine thousand. Wow, seriously, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, oh, okay, that kind of hurt. I'm not gonna lie, that absolutely kind of hurt. Uh, I think we get rid of Lotus, Charlotte, and well, Julius is gonna rest, which is fine. It's just the only bad thing is that Noelle's probably gonna have her barrier next turn, unless she also she also and I, then I die. I think I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I die. Um, 245, Jesus, dude, that's just they just do too much damage. Just okay, cool. We didn't kill. Ooh, you are ulting. Okay, we actually survived. That's crazy. What? I did not think we were going to survive. Um, okay, what do I want to do here? Um, let me actually do this. Let's do this, and then... Alright, so I think now the move here is... I mean, I, sh I should, right? I should... Actually, if I do the... 
If I do the single target, how much damage is it gonna do? I have 50k. I think better safe than sorry. How much Noah? Noah has 10k HP. I don't think this is gonna kill, if I'm being honest. So I'm just gonna go do the single target here. 18k, yeah, better safe than sorry. And then we do this. Uh oh, let's go. We actually made us to win there. That's crazy. I did not think we were going to win. I did not think we were going to win. Um yeah, this honestly is not a bad team. It's just you gotta be kind of careful about it if to be honest with you. Um Let's oh let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh they don't have any speed units, which is fine, so we do get to go first, no problem. So if I can get rid of Oh, okay, so we have the barrier right off the rip, which is great. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this. Noel, don't counterattack. Of course you do, because why wouldn't you? And then we're gonna go do a barrier extension and then provide some buffs, which is cool and all. Um, I always forget that Raya can do insane multipliers on his ultimate based on the number of buffs he has. I just, I always seem to forget that. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I think we get rid of Lotus here, no problem. Yeah, absolutely. So Lotus is gone. Um, I think Noel is gone too, if I had to guess, which means that Lake is going to be our only problem here, damage-wise, 160, ooh, alright, this is a little dangerous now because, oh, you're ulting, you're not even doing your barrier, I thought you were going to ult, uh, barrier is still up, okay, now it's officially gone, that's fine, let me go ahead and do, what do I want to do, let's go ahead and do this, right, go ahead and do that, increase magic attack all, and then let's do this. Defense penetration, special point increase, let's go. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of your bus here and copy it over. Right, let's go. And then for this, we will do... Ooh, can I kill? I don't know if this kills. 41k, okay, we actually managed to kill. That's that's huge. That is really, really big. Uh, who are you attacking? That's, that's best case scenario. Best case scenario, we come and do that. Cool, we kill. And then... We copy over buffs again. I'll take it. Perfect. And then now we go and do that. And that's a GG. That is a GG at that point. Um, I was not expecting this team to be as good. If I had to, if I'm being honest, with you. I really thought this team was gonna be like, you know, I'm getting one tapped out here. Now, obviously, if this is real time, I would probably end up going against like crazy, crazy units. But um, yeah, this is not a bad team for now. I think when Fauna comes out, it's gonna be a crazy, crazy team. I think. Third Eye Fauna is going to make this team meta. To be honest with you, I really do think that. But overall, man, um, I am very, very pleased with how this unit is working. I think she is great. Honestly, I really do think she is good. Um, like I said, if you are free to play and you do want to be smart about your crystals, I am going to go ahead and say get Charlotte from Gateway Destiny. I feel very, very comfortable saying that. She's just so good. Her versatility and usage is going gonna, is gonna to age very well over time with what she offers and everything. Special point increase, def defense penetration, barriers, barrier extension. She just does it all. She does it all. And if you get her to LR plus two, she does even more barrier related things, which is just insane. So forget Rodis, put it in Charlotte and you're good. You have a barrier and support role and special point increase role. I mean, come on, she just does everything, right? I will let you know. Let me know your thoughts on Charlotte and Magna, which one is your favorite between the two. And, uh, I will see you on this one. Take care. Peace.